for the time being, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the, um, auto lock back on, actually. Um, where is that? Just because it has been useful in the past, even though it's sometimes a bitch. But, hi everybody, Renegade68 here. It looks from that angle like you had disappeared. Anyways, um, we some more Let's Play. They're gonna open another episode of Super Guys Blind. I mean, last video was blech. It was just me doing puzzles and Acha optional puzzles, which was weird. Acha, Acha, Patrick. Um, and this time, I don't know, maybe less boring stuff. I don't know. I was a bit tired in that episode, combined with the not the most active stuff we were doing. We got burn, and then never got any more bullets for burn, so we're not really able to use much more burn at all at the moment. And yeah, we're back in the subway with the same aesthetic. Um, I mean, I don't know if this is, a, if this is like supposed to be a fancy place that we keep coming back to and they make a big deal out of it, but what, what, what? Oh, is this plot or what? To find the base. We have to find somewhere we can get into the sewer. That sounds about right. Hey, Kamaru, before we do that, there's something I want to know. What? We already had our heart to heart. What else do you need to know? Is it what Genocide or Jack did with me? Hmm? What about? Is it about my glorious butt gun? How does that even hang on there? Oh, I mean, all this time I've, I've never really actually thought about it, but maybe this skirt is like made of metal and the gun is magnetic or you have a lace in your skirt or he, there was a fastened like how is that on your butt your butt gun defies the laws of physics there's so much in this game it doesn't make sense and it defies things and you know but it all works Kenogi is like it's a game and I mean it's fine for that but the butt gun what what about uh, um, you said I'm your friend I'll never get over the butt gun how does it work? I want a game theory on the butt gun. If you're listening to this, Matt Pat, which you aren't, um, make a game theory on the butt gun. How does that work? I did say that. Why do you ask? <clears throat> yes, what? But I've been thinking it over, and I have to tell you, my number one is still master. Every time you say butt, I can't help but think of the gun now. Even if you're saying the wrong kind of butt. Um, your number one is still master? Uh, are you sure? Because you were willing to let whatever happened to Master let me get out. So, I mean, I don't know. I still don't understand what you see in Master. I'd still like that relationship to maybe become a bit healthier. It won't, but I'd like it. But, nah. I'd like Biakia to be... Even if, you know, even if the relationship never really improves, I'd just like to maybe like Biakia a bit, because I don't at all in any way. Um, okay. But something like that, that's no good, right? Thinking you're not as important as someone? Well, no, everybody's gonna list their favorites, even if they don't tell them. Like, you can have a bunch of friends, but everyone, you're gonna, most people will have, like, in their mind, like, okay, they're my number one, they're my number two. Like, it's just gonna happen. I mean, you just have the honesty to admit it, which is uh, pretty surprising considering how much you tend to keep things to yourself, like my brother. Toko, do you know what friends are? <laughs> don't patronize me! Besides, since Viaki is sort of like your loved one, sort of, kind of, sort of, that means he should be more important than your just everyday regular friends or whatever. It's a relationship where people talk about love and go eat sweets together on weekends. Uh, do we even have weekends anymore? Does Future Foundation get weekends? Become estranged when one of them gets a lover, then they learn to move past it and have a... Um, you read too much. And not enough manga, by the way. Read more manga. Stop reading filthy casual books. Well, that's kind of right, but friends are more like... I mean, they're below lovers, so you don't have to worry anyways. That's as simple as it is, really. Generally. I mean, I know they say bros before hoes, but, I mean, really, that's only when you're first getting to know, know the hoe. Once you know the hoe really well, she's not a hoe anymore. And then it becomes... Um... I don't know what it becomes, but it becomes you put your lover first, generally. What? Never mind. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's... Why bother trying to explain? It would shatter her years of understanding anyways. I mean, it's too much, really. It'd be too much for her fragile mind to handle. What the hell? Talk to me here. Probably halfway through, she'd spaz out and, and turn to genocide her anyways and then miss the important parts. 
you have to really define it right now. Just act like you normally do. Yeah, you don't have to be worried just because you like Byakuya more. It's only natural that you're going to like certain people more than others. Just because you like one person the most doesn't mean you're not allowed to like anyone else. B but that's just... It's hard for me to accept it. It doesn't feel real. Okay, then it's not real. But, um... We're real friends, even if you don't want to call it real. Call it whatever you want. Am I annoying, Kamaru, the way I am now? Don't I annoy you? I, I couldn't be friends. Um... Uh, clearly, Kamaru likes you. I personally still... You're definitely an annoying person. Um, that, there's no question about that, but... You're clearly also friends by this point. Just because you're annoying doesn't mean you can't be friends. Well, how about this? Can I call you Toki? Why? Why? What's wrong with Toko? Who the hell is that? Oh. It'll be your nickname. Your nickname? Really? What's the point if it's the same? Usually don't nicknames get shorter? I mean, at least that's my general experience. You use it either to shorten the name or to make it less confusing or... But calling him Toki instead of Toko... Is... Do you think it sounds cuter? I prefer Toko, honestly. Toki doesn't sound as... as cool. Oh, I... I've never been called by a nickname before. Well, other than insults. And, you know, insults can be endearing, too, after a while, I feel. Never? Not even as a kid? Well, I hope we get along together, Toki. Toki also kind of bugs me because people sometimes call me Rennie, and I don't like that. Like, um, if you're going to shorten my name, call it Ren. Um, or Rengade. Or Rengad. Whenever I have to play a Pokemon game, because they have a certain amount of number limit, I use, like, Rengad. Um, and some people, like, uh, it's been a while, but some people would call, call, used to call me Rennie. And I'm like, don't shorten it to Rennie. Anyways, <clears throat> so Toki kind of bugs me a little bit because it reminds me of Rennie. Anyways. Uh. What happened, Toki? Are you okay, Toki? It's too weird. Also, you're saying Toki way too many times. You don't have to say her name that many times, whether it's a real name or a nickname. Now it's just getting annoying. Uh, it's fine. I will withstand it. I will go through this horrible friendship ritual. <laughs> she hates being called something that isn't Toko. Okay. <laughs> if you don't like it, say you don't like it, you don't do it. The point of nicknames is because it's fun. If you don't like the nickname, then don't take it. <laughs> That's funny, though. She wants to get through it for the sake of friendship. And that way, maybe we should just do it. So that she can grow? Now, say it again. Say it one more time. I will not retreat. Well, you are kind of a masochist, which means you do like it when people do things that hurt you, so I guess this is something you also like while hating? It's weird. Toki? No. Oh. No, no. No, it's... it's too much. <laughs> this is funny. Oh, Toko, you can be funny sometimes. Never mind. I'm just gonna call you Toko again. Aww. But she was... she was growing, just a little bit. Yes, thank you. The friendship was far too intense. <laughs> yep, nickname was just going too far, I guess. We're not close enough for nicknames. Friendship was too intense. Uh, if you want to know about intense friendships, I mean, I'm sure you've uh, written some books about them yourself, if you know how that. Toki. I do prefer Toko. I'm glad she went back to that, but still. For Toko's character development, maybe it would have been better to call her Toki. Where am I going? What am I doing? Where are we going? Um, I guess I have to go through there. Yeah, because there's a gap. Oh, shit. You're a person. Wait, do you have a... What do you have in your hand there? Is that like a... It's a golf club? A golf club? Female golfer? <laughs> yes, I did it! What, you killed a kid? Or did you golf a golf ball? Um... What did you do? Oh shit, yep, they're starting to rise up now. And now the adults are really going to become the fearful ones just like uh, the kids thought. And what? Are the are the warriors uh, going to wait? Or have they been waiting for this moment, maybe manipulatively? And now they're going to let the kids that they have brain-controlled loose to see what the adults are like so they have to side with them or something stupid? 
I don't know. But yeah, this is some really nice world building, seeing it come full circle. Toe is safe now. There's no way to hide anymore. Now that we can just kill all the kids. I mean, in what other context, in what other context would you see this and think this is a good thing? I killed a child all by myself! Um, like, take that out of context and, and eliminate the destroyed Monokuma part. And out of context, that sounds like the worst thing ever. I killed a child! I did it all by myself! Are you proud of me, Mommy? Uh... Ellipses. I mean, we haven't actually been killing any of the kids. We've just been, um, destroying the Monokumas. And actually, ooh! Ooh! Oh! If the kids are being brain-controlled, and you killed one of the brain-controlled kids... Oh, no! Oh! I feel bad for the kid! Oh! He didn't do anything wrong, he just got brain-controlled. Probably. I'm pretty sure that's what they're going with this. You no longer need to worry about your families and friends being killed. Only your kids! You no longer need to see others killed. Only the kids! But they're not real people anyways. They're basically monsters, right? Demons versus demons. Demons versus monsters. You should all be grateful. Cry in tears of joy that I've saved you all. You haven't saved anyone but yourself and killed a kid. A kid that was probably innocent being brain controlled. She's completely gone. My husband and daughter didn't die in vain. Thanks to them, I know Monokuma's weakness. Oh, Monokuma has a weakness? Oh, you mean the eye, right? The eye? Wait, but your daughter, how old is your daughter? Because if your daughter is at a certain young age, then wouldn't you be counted as a kid? I mean, eh. Their deaths have been avenged! Okay. I think it's best to just leave her be. Yep, isn't this just kind of the same kind of mindset as the kids? They go crazy to the point they enjoy killing the people. The kids started it, but now the adults are going to feel it as well, which is going to sort of justify the kids continuing. I mean, if it's, at a certain point, you might have been able to say, Stop, kids, don't do this. But now the adults are so against them that it's like, even if the kids wanted to go back, how can they? The adults hate them so much now. It's it's vicious, really. You're right. Sometimes it's better not to wake up from a dream. That's, uh, I really like the world building in this game, though. It's really nice seeing... You know, the kids got fucked up, and Junko took advantage of that, now, now the adults are getting fucked up in exchange, which is giving more merit to the children killing them, because they're getting crazier and crazier, because the children were killing them, but now it gives more credence to them wanting to kill them and be afraid of them. It's, it's a cycle. And it's unfortunate, but it is the truth. Um, is there any reason to not do this? Is there any reason to not do that? bad idea to do that? Uh, I don't know, but I just got another free one. So, and I, I got a level up, which actually, I believe, with the current amount of skill points I have, I have two free ones, so I can put on one nighter again. So no, I got a level up out of it, so I don't see how that was a bad idea, especially because it respawned. Farm experience, go! Um, any shinies? No, I could see them if there were shinies, clearly. Um, what do we got? Um, anything fancy hidden in the walls? Uh, anything hidden in the ceilings? I haven't been looking for shinies in the ceilings. I don't see any. I see some lights that are off for some reason, but... No shinies anywhere. Oh, no, there's a shiny there. I spoke Looks too like soon. Can't go any further. Let's head back. I understand. We have to use the bomb guy. To... Okay, but first let's do this. Oh, the bomb inside of three. Oh, it's fitting because, um... Because we have to use the bomb on Akuma to blow up that wall, probably. But, um, didn't we get the bomb insider 2? I don't think we ever got the bomb insider 1. Oh, well. Um, what is that called? D.I.D. Comics? D.I.O. Com- I don't know. Yumi Kayakada, the girl with a bomb in her womb, cannot love, and yet she has chosen. I want to fall in love with Shota. If I can just fall deeper in love with him, I don't mind if my- if this body of mine bursts away. However, a new character. Oh god, it's, 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 you can never tell when they're talking when they're not without quotation marks. However, a new character who has feelings for Yumi appears. Moto Moto Nikaido. Oh god, the two guys, both, both having feelings for the girl who will blow up if she has feelings for another. What the fuck? Your life isn't yours alone. My love is only mine. A charred body of love or a living doll. Which fate will Yumi choose? The third volume of Fiery Love Story. I mean, isn't it gonna only end in tragedy no matter what? <laughs> oh, there's our talk again. Toko. Are you the type who's okay with spoilers? No! No! 
But she asked. She asked. You know what? I'm going to give credit where credit is due. There's a lot of jerks who are just, they spoil and they don't give a shit. She asked. The answer though is no, I'm not okay with spoilers. But this is a fictional fiction that doesn't actually exist in our real fiction. So, in our real fiction, it's not real. Only in fiction fiction. It's fake fake. Only real when it's fake. Anyway, so, fakes. Real spoilers for fake things that aren't real, that aren't real fake things, is okay. What's going on? What brought this on? Amazing! The third volume of this, of the bomb is so good, I gotta talk about it. But are you okay with spoilers? Uh... I do have those feels sometimes where I really like something and I want to talk about it with someone. Um, that's part, that's part of what I like about Let's Play. But, um... Uh... I mean, I don't, I don't spoil. I just try to find somebody else who already knows, or... If, I can't. I find somebody who doesn't know it and keep pestering them. You should watch it. You should watch it. You should watch it. I won't spoil you, but you better fucking watch it. Fuck you. You better fucking watch it. You fuck. Don't mess with me. How many times do I have to tell you? I have no interest in manga at all. Well, then I guess she doesn't mind. So Yoko, the girl from the second volume, tries to stop Yumi from giving into this. Let me guess. After she hears the explanation, she's gonna be like, "Oh, that's actually pretty good," or something. And why would you spoil me on that? I would have liked it. No, I don't know. I would assume maybe this is actually gonna open her mind to manga. Probably not though. Tries to stop Yumi from giving into despair. Sounds like Makoto. Yoko, Makoto. Connection. And she says this. Oh, it's so beautiful. Aww. I'm tearing up just remembering it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Yumi. Yoko, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> but they... But the despair. But... But the bomb. Did you get through it? You couldn't have gotten through it in Volume 3. You're on Volume... That was on Volume 2. So... Wow. You get really emotional over manga. It's understandable, though. <laughs> Kamaru! You come back to reality! It is reality. Y even if these characters are fiction, their feelings are real. They're real fake feelings. Real fake feelings in this fake, fake world. In this real fake, fake, fake world. It's, it's, it's a game, but Nagito's gaming it up even more. It's the real world, but it's a game world, with, and it's a game within the game that Nagito has created. And this is all in an actual game where they're talking about a real manga but the manga story is fake, but they have real, um, but the emo emotions are real, whether they're fake stories or not. Anyways. That's a rabbit hole. Did you... You stopped calling me Almaru! Oh, shit! I didn't even notice that! <laughs> Komaru noticed that! Wow. Um, so, wait, was the reason Toko called her Omaru the whole time was to not get too attached? Now that she's attached now, she realizes that it's okay to call her Komaru? I didn't even think about that. I thought Komar oh, Toko was just being stupid. Oh, did I? You're probably just mistaken. Oh, I didn't even realize that you didn't call him by the real name because of that. Toko! No, I heard right. I tried to call you Toki, and you knew that, and tried to call me by my name, right? Oh, because you didn't like being called by a nick. You didn't be- Oh, that's true! You don't like being called by a not your name, and you're fine with calling me by a not my name? So you, oh, I see. So you didn't understand until the nickname thing that people don't like names that aren't their own. So you're just being insensitive before not giving a shit. Okay, but now you have feelings. The Grinch grew three sizes. Got a problem with that? You think I'm too gloomy to have a character arc? <laughs> uh, no, it works. It works. I still think it's weird that you were calling her Amaru all that time, but... I guess this just means you smartened up and realized what her real name was. Maybe you heard Nagito say it and were like, okay, I guess that's what the real name is. You finally paid attention, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's not that at all. It just makes me really happy. Thanks, Toki. Uh, you're going back to Toki, though, which she doesn't like. So she did something you finally like, which makes you do something she doesn't like. How was that a thank you? <sighs> ah, that name! Oh. Sorry, that slipped out on an accident. It's kind of fitting, but... You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? Well, you were doing it on purpose before, weren't you? So it's only fair, right? Payback's a bitch! I guess I could just say Payback's a Fukawa. What? <clears throat> Singer. Um, so I guess I have to blow this up from the other side, though. But how? Oh, tutorial? Yep. It looks like... Another present. Is this good? Oh! Is this gonna be the last truth bullet where we move? We finally get it! I didn't think we we're gonna get another truth bullet so quickly. We finally get to move the Monokuma to another place. And then we have to move him in front of the wall and then shoot him. Is that what we do? Yeah. 
but that means there's only one truth bullet left. The one that the miracle rainbow color truth bullet. Unless this is the rainbow co color truth bullet. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Oh, okay. If this is the one I want, then I guess it, if Link is the one I'm thinking of, then I guess maybe I was wrong. For some reason, I didn't think that was the rainbow color one. I thought I never got a burn one though. Not, I thought there was a rainbow colored one and then the Link one, but I guess they're the same one. In which case, maybe I, I did get the burn one, but I didn't think it worked because it takes a million shots for it to do anything, I suppose. And because we had infinite ammo in the beginning of the game, which is why I didn't realize how much ammo you could probably use of it to actually kill something. Yeah, that makes sense. Looks like you picked up a Link. Looks like you picked up a Link. A Link is a truth bullet that can control Monokumas by taking over their cyber brain. Cyber brain. Yeah, okay, good. Finally, we have my favorite one. It's not really fit for combat, but that doesn't mean you can't put it to good use. Aw, not fit for combat? Because Monokumas aren't good at other Monokumas, unfortunately. For example, you can link the bomber Monokuma, and then use it to break open that wall. Also, you can release a Link with a triangle button. So same button as a Genocider. That's a bit confusing. That's a bit worrisome. Now use your hacking gun can actually hack things. Use it lots. <laughs> now your hacking gun can actually hack things. Took us long enough. Well, at least they highlighted it that fact. Look like it do any damage, but it might be of some use. Should do damage. How many do I have? Only ten. Oh, let's fix that. Let's fix that. I know we have some spare truth bullets lying around. Um, where is it? Link. Uh, what's left? First, let's just put on, I guess, Swiftly and Deathly, because those work together, right? Um, problem is that, uh, I don't want this. Uh, Harshly doesn't give any increase. I want an increase in numbers on this, because 10 is not enough, I feel. Um, I'm thinking. Yeah, let's try to give you Largely and Energetically, because I like Link. Link seems like it'd be fun. Yeah, Link seems like it'd be fun. So let's give this, uh, largely. And then, energetically. There we go. Now there's a good number of bullets. Swiftly and deftly. I'd rather have Dance do that. Dance seems like the least useful one for the most part. And then, knockback can be abundantly. Sadly. Endlessly, hatefully. Alright, cool. I think I'm okay with this. As, as fun as it is to dance, I think that is the least useful. Anyways, now we have this. So, let's put it to some use. And this might mean this is the last one. Okay, so... Yeah, so I, I understand now what the uh, thing is. So can I use the bombs with this? Like, if I... If I square... And this should... Does this blow it up? If I... Or do I have to... Does that work? Did it do it? No, it didn't. Wait, why didn't it do it? Oh shit, that was supposed to do it. Fuck you. Is that because kill he killed himself? Maybe the best option is just to go right next to the wall? And then kill? I don't know. I thought it'd be cooler to use the bomb while I was him, but I guess it's not viable. That seemed weird. I feel like that should have definitely blowed up the thing. It's not as useful as I want it to be. I mean, Monokumas are obviously useful if you can use them, it's just that we can't use them usually. If we could use them, Monokumas are great. Especially the first game Monokumas, those were extremely well made. Yeah, it is a real big shame that um, you can't use the Link power to... It seems like you can't use it to kill other Monokumas. I hope... I wonder how useful that'll be in like the upcoming boss. I think it would be useful. I think they'd, they'd make that useful in a boss fight, like against Nagisa or whatever. That would make sense. Uh, any shinies at all? So we're just supposed to go down here, right? Go down the yellow arrow? Yep, I just, I hope I'm not missing anything. I'm looking around, I'm making sure to keep my eyes peeled. Oh! Go down the paint road. The yellow brick road, as it were. 
Uh, no shinies, not seeing any shinies, not over here, not over there. We got this guy right in front of the escalator. Oh, for a second I thought he was in the way, and then no, we can totally just walk over him. It's cool. Uh, I can't walk in this. I can't, the rebel's in the way over here, but dead body, he's not in the way, not even close. I can totally walk, walk around him. Oh, this is totally going to a cutscene. Oh boy. Something big? Something big? We gotta look for a place we can get into the sewers. I thought we're in the sewers. Oh, this is the subway that leads to the sewers. Gotcha. Um. Okay, interesting actually. So we got a cross over there. And then we got an A. What is with that A with that orange scale? Whose is the orange scale though? Because the green one, I think, is supposed to be Jotaro. The blue one is Nagisa. The pink one is... Utsugi. Um... Or no, is the green one Monica? Oh, then the orange one is Jotaro? Uh, I don't know. I don't even see... Oh, no, yeah. And then Monsters is over there. He's the red one. I forget. Whatever. Uh, there's a lot of stuff we could use. Don't give me something useless, please. The more b b bullets we get, the harder it is to get a useful thing. Oh, they give you a hundred of those at once. That's awesome. Cool. Good. At least for, you know, when you actually can get more of them. Oh, what? Oh, g oh god, you were hiding. Good on you. But I'm good with a bullet. I'm a good nice shatter, so your goodness doesn't... My goodness counteracts your goodness. You can't be good when I'm good. Gosh, loser. Okay, so what's what's the map look like here? Um, oh, this kind of looks like the other subway place we were in before, but like in reverse. I guess we can be kind of out of bounds now if we want it to be, so that's nice. Oh, 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 oh. oh. okay. I see. Sorry, I didn't know. Okay, the auto lock is getting to me. It's sometimes it's good, other times not really. Anyways, let's blow up your jetpack. Oh god, no! Oh. That's what happens sometimes when you blow up the jetpack. They fly into you recklessly. Uh, I guess it's kind of fitting, and that's why it's good to use the burn thing. I'll get to that in a second. Um. Oh, okay. So I guess you got to be close enough, otherwise it doesn't work. The auto lock, which is kind of silly. And two, and nice shot. Also, how am I supposed to know when these guys count as gentlemen, Monokuma? Because, like, some of them move funkily and others don't. Anyways. Uh, shiny! What do we got? Jeez, you're a dirty sock. The first time you were inside me, I was fine, but now I'm starting to get all loose. <laughs> these sock things, the fuck? I mean, I haven't missed any, have I? I don't think so. I mean, I don't think so. Socky the sock. It says Socky 7. How many Sockies is there? How many Sockies can there be? I mean, it seems like there's room for plenty of chapters if there was going to be more, but I don't think there is. I think that's just their way of making it so that you don't know for sure how many chapters there are, but it seems pretty typical for this kind of game, especially with the formula they set up to be uh, 5 to 6. Maybe seven, but I'm doubtful. Oh, what the? How did? How are those not working? What? What kind of bull dicks is that? Totally should have worked. Okay. There's no way this ceiling is going to collapse, right? There's no way they'd use the same tired plot device twice. I won't allow it. <laughs> what? Um, if you mean the kids in their game. I mean, wasn't that the whole point? That was one of the big things about Danganronpa 2. They did a lot of everything again. I mean, granted, they put twists on their their everything, but I mean, you're not the game. You're not the best when it comes to talking about bad used plot devices and stuff. Um, yeah, there's no way they'd use the same final villain again. <laughs> um, sorry, that that's still a sore spot with me. Anyways, what the fuck? What are you? What are you? What? What the fuck? I, I've like hit you like three times. You can't. Okay, finally I can hit you now. What the hell? 
Cheater Monokuma Cheater. I deserve that heart. I shouldn't have lost it to you in the first place. Cheese and crackers. I'm um, looking around for any shiny people. Don't see anyone glowing in the dark. I see some dead bodies hanging limply. Hanging loose, as it were. Foot loose. As a possible uh, thing that they could be hanging. No shinies hiding here. Wait, actually, is there? Oh no, I thought it was a shiny. It was a false alarm. Uh, which way do I have to go here? Is there a way I can't go and a way I can go? I can use the map for that. That's probably the most useful thing the map has. Yes, the way I can go is this way, so go this other way first. <laughs> okay, so where's the shiny? Where's the shiny? Where? Where's the shiny? Where's the shiny? Where's the shiny? What the fuck? Okay. Calm down, me. They just have a dead end with no shiny, that's all. It's not something to freeze over! Why do you do that, game? I know how video games work. When you have dead ends, you have shinies. This is like the second time or something I've seen a dead end from you guys with no shiny. Who do you think you are? Now get to your game design is slacking. You suddenly wait till chapter four to start getting shit. Anyways, um, okay, so the up there is a puzzle room. Down here is a shortcut kind of thing. Um, but first, this thing. <clears throat> uh, what do we got? Ten more of these. That's nice. Um, I have a feeling those will be especially useful. Probably, yeah, for this puzzle room, almost certainly they're gonna you take you take advantage. They're gonna abuse them. If only get ten at a time, like there's a lot of these I can actually get. If I can have up to forty, batteries are nice. Only one though. Oh, it's good that we have two in a row then. They're gonna be getting out a lot more of these mono machines now that we have this many things. Oh my god, what? What? I heard a, I heard a monokuma. I heard a, I heard a monokuma. Where where what? Who's making that noise? Oh, okay. All right. That's who is making it. Um, what would it be like if I controlled you? I want to control you. Uh, can I burn you? Let me, let me burn you. Does that actually kill him? Can I kill him? I want to kill you. You dead? No, we just cannot kill each other. It just can't happen. Oh god! Actually, wait, did I do enough damage to him they decided to do that? Maybe I did kill him just now. That's confusing. Okay, well, that happened. Whatever. Maybe I can get a refill inside the puzzle room. Oh, what, what? No, 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 no! What, what? No, no, no! What, what? No, no! How do we get over there? Oh, I need to blow up the partition. Well, fuck, how do I do that? How do I do that? Is there a bomb Monokuma I'm missing? Hey, kids, do you have a bomb Monokuma for me up there? Like, up on that pedestal that I can't get to? No? Oh, there's a bomb Monokuma over there! I see him now! I just saw him. Okay, we have to go around this way, then. I see. We have to open that way up so we can get whatever the fancy Majancer is. So go through here. Does this give us a good line of sight on the Monokuma? No, it doesn't. He's definitely there, though. Where? Where? How can we do this? What's the best way to get a good line, line of sight here? <coughs> like I didn't even notice that Monokuma with the bombs until until I got I went all the, all the way around. Where are you? Can I get a line of sight here? Oh, yes, I can. As long as the range is long enough. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to run over here. Um, and now you're going to just stay here. And now, if I go all the way around, because it seems like he can't blow himself up, which is stupid. I should be able to... Okay, that's the point of this dead end. So this dead end does have a use. I'm reminded of that room way back when that had nothing in it. Did I ever go back to that and get something in there? I think there should have been something, but maybe there wasn't. I don't know. Um, it's funny that we can never go back to chapter 1, we go back to everywhere else. Anyways... Putting even more use to the length thing already. Just 
とは、いくわは。で、クロ。ああ、これは、perfect timing if I got to level up from that. Continuing the one heart run. One, I guess one compliment I'll give this game is that there isn't a constant beep, beep, beep kind of sound, you know, that kind of sound when you're low on hearts. I mean, sometimes it's nice as a warning, but we're smart. We're not stupid players. We can see that we have one heart. Actually, sometimes it's kind of hard to tell in this game because it blends in just a little bit, but we're smart enough. We're not that stupid. I don't know. That would just, that would just be one more annoyance added on to the list of this game's gameplay mechanics that are kind of annoying that, uh, If they did that. Anyways, shiny. Super quick fire. Wait, is that an extension of the two skills I don't like? Quick fire. Increases laser slight movement speed but slightly. Oh no, this is the kind of one that I do like. Increases laser move speed. Yeah, I do want. I don't like precision shot, which means let's uh, take off auto lock, put on super quick fire. Now, is it good having both at once or do I not like it? I think it's good. I think it's good. Yeah. Well, maybe that's a little too fast? I don't know. I think I prefer it this way, though. <clears throat> Might be a bit too much. Maybe not. It's a bit finicky. I'm thinking. I'm thinking how, if this is annoying, if this is an annoying level of finicky, or if it's just right, kind of. I might want it to be a little lesson. We'll see. I'll see how it is in actual combat. It's one of those things that you really won't know until you're in actual combat if you actually like it or not. Anyways, next puzzle room. What do we got? It's another arcade machine room. Yeah, it seems like you make a comment on that every time, and it's pointless every fucking time. Hard to be nice. No. I mean, that's also nice, I guess. 91 is such a weird, weird map to have. All right, what is this one? This one is probably going to use the limit thing. It could be fun. I hope. Do you think they will gather around the part of the wall that's going to collapse? It might be um increasing the the oh god, I can use break, move, dance, and link. Wow. But increasing the laser pointer speed that much might make nice shots harder. I don't know. We'll see how it is in combat. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Destroy them all with one explosion. Holy shit. Um. All right. <gasps> um. If I understand this right, where am I coming out of? I'm coming out of there. And I'm going into there. Okay. So the goal is dance that guy. Get them to come over. How do I get to the other side? Like that? I go on there and I come up there and I... I have to... Wait. I don't think I understand. How am I gonna... Unless I can get to the other side. Which I will be able to do if I... Let me just scope out the room a little bit first. I gotta understand how I move about here. So I can just move across this, right? But I can't get through here without an explosion. But I have to destroy them all with one explosion. Do they give me a refill on this guy? Because I gotta get through here. If I can dance him, I can get them to all go. But, but, this is the big but. I think I have, like, that's the only reason I'd have to use the, the link for this guy, right? Unless, oh shit, no. I know what I have to use the link for. I have to use the link for him and get him all the way over there. Is that right? Okay, I have a theory and I'm gonna try it. This guy right here. Okay, good. All right, move out of the way, coming through. Me with my thing pack. I'm gonna move all the way over here. Okay, now that I'm over here, I'm gonna I'm gonna retreat so that he doesn't notice me. Um now I'm gonna dance. Let's dance. Okay, I'm gonna get the others all the others to come to him, including the bomb guy. 
Yes! And now, now that he's there, on the other side, let me just angle myself correctly, and then boom! 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 Fuck you! Yes! I feel proud of myself! Oh, that was a fun one. I like that one. Oh man, because I was thinking, wait, how am I going to do one explosion to kill the guys and open the gate? But I do it all in one. Oh, that was nice. That was a nice feeling. I like that. Because I was thinking, okay, I'm going to dance the dude over there and I'm going to have to use an explosion to open the gate and then get over there and use another explosion to kill those guys. Like send him across the bridge. But no, you got to move the dance guy. Oh, I love the link power makes way for so many possibilities of clever puzzles and that's the thing because depending on how the mechanics work it could be that you know it's you can make puzzles that make sense but there's no cleverness to them that was clever I liked that one a lot that's one of my favorite puzzles so far it's definitely my favorite puzzle in a while a lot of the more recent ones have been kind of shitty anyways um but that one was good that one was really enjoyable I liked that Link seems like it'll be a very fun power in terms of using puzzles puzzles and stuff Whoa. Let's burn these guys. Oh, I'm, I'm aiming wrong. Well, I burned. You burned through those ammo pretty quickly. Eh? I burned through the ammo pretty quickly. Oh. Um, any shinies? You never want to miss a shiny lying on a couch. Or lying, like, right here. Now, that's the usual place. God, it hurts my hand to rotate the camera like that. Such a bitch. Um, oh, hi, guy. Uh, I wish he was facing the other way so I could get a sense of how easy it is to... Um, uh, how about dance for me for a second? How easy it is to, to like get a nice shot on you. I don't know, maybe it goes a little... Oh, I can still nice shot. Maybe it moves a little too fast. For now, I don't mind. Oh, there's another guy? Oh, there's another guy. Oh, we hit Toka, though! <laughs> oh, I mean, I know we're friends and stuff now, but it's still funny. You're the tails. You can get hit all you want and nothing bad happens. Okay, um... Let me see if I can, you know, strafe in here and get a... Get a quick... Uh, get a quick, uh... Headshot! Oh, I don't think that was a headshot, but it was... It got him in one shot. And I'm gonna shoot you a couple times in the back as well. And now I'm gonna burn you, because you're gonna... Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. I'm dead. Oh. I'm almost sad that you're dead. Um, it's good to get the nice shots because you get money, and that's the main reason I'm a little worried about this being too annoying. Other than that, I don't mind. Um, uh, we'll see if it affects my nice shot percentage. If, if it does too much, then I might tone it down a bit. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Isn't it just going to get darker if we keep going? Is it really going to be okay? There's three of those now. I'm not sure if there's three lined up because they're realizing how much you're going to be using so many different types of ammo, so they need to give you more now at this point, more mono machines. Or if it's a blast coming up. I don't know. I'm always going to think, boss coming up. Uh, usually there's a skill shop just for the boss, though, so I think we're good. Memoir of an adult in the resistance. Oh, God. Wait. Memoir. Usually it's memoir of um, one of the kids, isn't it? Just as I thought. Hygie was right. Oh, shit. There's a difference between courage and recklessness. Oh, yeah, exactly. My right leg got broken. Wait, your right leg? I, for a second, I'm like, oh, his, oh, no, his leg. Never mind. I thought it said his, his arm, and I was thinking about Haiji, broken thing. I was thinking Haiji's broken arm. Thought for a second it was broken leg. No, he broke his arm. No, anyways. My right leg got broken. My friends got killed. I was just reckless. Incompetent, a reckless, incompetent person. I wasn't even sent to start a fight, but just to go scouting. I hate them. I hate those brats. From the bottom of my heart, I want to kill them. I want to fucking kill them all. But, as Haiju said, exactly, he's right. If you're being stupid, you know, you can be all courageous and stuff, but if you're stupid, then it doesn't matter how courageous you are. I would seriously fucking pay to see them die. Eh, you might have to. Uh, do you have any money lying around? I want to crush their little beating hearts with my bare hands. I want to pulverize their skulls in the dust. You know, it takes years of my, off my life. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them so badly. All I can do is just sit here and cry. Really? Seems like uh, you're complaining and ranting more than crying. Um, definitely did not sound like the crying type. But hey, you know, manly tears, I guess. 
Um, all right, so first of all, uh, I'll take the save. Uh, let's move to a safer spot. 212 versus 230 versus 257. I'll take the 230. The one right in the middle. Um, yeah. And now, I will do some of these machines, because I feel like I'm always needing more ammo at this point. Uh, unneeded. Fuck you. They shouldn't be allowed to give you stuff that's unneeded. That was good, and... Last one. Uh, more burns! That's cool. Alright. You know, for a while, I wasn't getting any burn, thankfully. Thankfully, the, um, stigmas dropped. I feel like you could really get screwed up by luck. Like, if you get bad luck on those mono machines, because generally, when you get bullets and stuff that drop, it's from those machines. I mean, you get hearts and batteries from Monokumas a lot of the time, but bullets seem to be a bit more rare. Maybe I'm just... Maybe that's more weird luck on my part, but that's what it seems like. Am I supposed to link you for anything? Let me look around. I'm trying to see if I can see anything broken that I could open up. I don't think so. Oh, is that another puzzle room? Do I see another? I think I see another puzzle room for there. Because, I mean, usually there's only so many puzzle rooms. Maybe it makes sense there's a lot of puzzle rooms because it's Nagisa's chapter. And Nagisa's, you know, the smarticle one. Is that a shiny over there? I thought it was a shiny. But it was you, Geo! Geno side, Geno. Geno. Uh, Gino, haha! Oh, whoa, what was that? Um, yeah, so it's not that bad, as long as I'm not looking for a nice shot. If I'm looking specifically for nice shots to farm money or something, which I'm really not, then it would probably be better, like, for example, can I get a good nice shot on you? You know, when I'm really trying to? I feel like I'm supposed to be taking advantage of you, but right now I want to test out the nice shot. Yeah! That's what I wanted. Oh god! Oh! Um, is that good or bad? Should I not have done that? How dangerous! Isn't that floor over there about to collapse? I'm not sure, but it gives me if it gives me a shiny, I'm okay with that. I don't see a shiny though. Is there a shiny person hiding down there? Like, what was the point of that? I'm failing to understand the point of this thing, of this broken, collapsed thing. Not understanding. What was the point of breaking it apart? I don't get it. Whatever. Anyways. Butt shot. Let's get him right in his, his little tail butt thing. You can still be a bit delicate with this. In general, I think it's just better to be faster. It's not a nice shot, but sometimes the butt shot is all you need. Oh, you fuck. Yeah, you lap it up. Oh, that should have been a nice shot. That should have been a nice shot. That was a nice shot. As long as you kill him with a nice shot, it's okay. Nothing else matters as long as the kill shot isn't. Oh. Speaking of which, nice shot, nice shot, uh, no, not quite, but I'll take the money, and I'll take the shiny. Big brother Leon, big brother, Leon, Leon Kuwata, wait, big brother Leon, 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 big brother big blothering brother brother head, big brother Leon, 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 you have BL put on some DL. What? No comment, just Big Brother Leon. Wait, did it turn into Leo eventually, or was it Leon the whole time? Was it just thinking Leo because I, I have Dio? You know, got got BO get Dio, got Leo get Dio. Give me that. Um Where's Big Brother Leo? Um Big Brother Leon. No, it just stayed Leon. The fuck? I guess that's the manager? I mean, who who else are they calling Leon? The only Leon we know is Kawada, right? I think. I believe so. Whatever, puzzle room, go! It's that arcade machine again. Lots. Let's get a move on. Lots of these puzzle rooms. But, um... Hopefully, hopefully all those future ones are super fun because it's a lake mechanic. I mean, now that we have everything again, we have all the bullets again. 
I mean, they introduced them slowly over time. Like, you know, I said they probably should, instead of giving them all to us at once. I'm, but the problem is, I don't know. They gave them all to us at once, but I feel like they should have let us fuck around with all of them for a little bit longer. Especially because when they gave them all to us, we could only use a couple of them. Like, a lot of them didn't really do anything. So, I don't know. I feel like it would have made more sense to have us have all of them for a little bit longer and to have them um, give opportunities to actually use all of them. Even if you, you didn't have to, you could. You know, if you wanted to really fuck around. And then you lose them all. I feel it would have been a little better. But anyways, generally though, if they're gonna do that, that's usually in like a sequel game, like for example, the Metroid formula. A lot of Metroids, uh, I believe Metroids generally will start you in a new game with a lot of your power-ups, then you lose them really early on. At least I think they do that. I haven't played many Metroids. I've heard of that being a thing though. Or is that Castlevania? Or is that both? I don't know. Start. What do we got? Yep, Link. Maybe you can break it with an explosion? Break, move, and link. I've already, you know, shown that I can do that. Maybe that was the point. Um, maybe that was the point. I don't know. Uh, maybe you had to break it over there to complete the link over here. Maybe. So that's where I'm, I'm heading. I'm heading over there. So I'm gonna head through here. Oh, I can't even get over there. So... I have to break it with an explosion, but to do that... Destroy the floor with an explosion. I have to move one of the... I'm gonna have to see this for myself up close. Because I have to move one of the bomb guys, right? Maybe you have to start a chain explosion by controlling something? Oh, that would make sense if I do a chain con explosion. Oh, I think I get it. I use their bombs to make a chain explosion. If I can do that, if they let me. So... Yeah, because I really can't get a good look through them. All I can do is... I think I understand. I use him to blow up these guys, which blows up that guy, which sends him over there. Maybe. Do I have to use a couple of links for this? Because I can actually hit two of them with the link bullet. So I think the smarter thing is to get this guy. Alright, now you're going to move. So I guess the effect in this shows how long you can have them controlled for. I'm gonna move you over here, right next to this thing, because this is what's gonna blow up. Now I'm gonna turn that off. Now you're the only other one I can reach, so I'm gonna get you. And now, I'm gonna... I guess I just press the square button, is that right? And that should kill them? Uh, no, he gets back up. Okay. That changes my perspective of things. Wait, so what am I doing then? I can't get around to shoot him from the other side. Like, this is as far as I can get. Um, but with this angle, will this work? Okay, let me just get him, get him a little closer. I just want to make sure I have everything lined up properly. I hope I didn't fuck it up by doing that. Like, make sure I'm close enough. Maybe this will work. I don't know. I hope I didn't fuck everything up. Fuck. Um, I feel like this shouldn't work. Maybe if I hit him from the angle. Oh, yeah, that could work. As long as I hit him from the angle. I'll shoot him. Did, did it work? I don't think it worked. I think I fucked it up. So does that mean I'm screwed? What do I do now? I mean, I have to get through here, right? Do I have to exit and come back in? Because I can't get through now. So you better let me go back, because I definitely can't do it now. I've never... You can retry from the ma Oh, I've never had to retry before. That's right, I I can retry. I've never used the retry function before. Okay, but yeah, so they're not gonna let me go back on this one. I guess they don't let you go back until you've already done it? But yeah, I've never once had to retry. Because usually if I can't do it, I just uh, bullshit it. Return to previous checkpoint. Wait, no, 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 no. 
I does this count as the checkpoint? This better count as the checkpoint, right? That's what retry means, right? It's that arcade machine okay. Again. I've never had to do this before. This is weird. I've never had to retry. That's that's really weird. Usually, if I can't do it properly, I just bullshit it. But okay. So I would have done it right if I didn't, if I wasn't so what? stupid. I get it now. Maybe you can break it with an explosion. I thought I could be smart and use the Monokuma's bombs to set off the chain, but no, you can't. You have to specifically use the Monokuma's bombs blowing themselves up. So I fucked myself over when, you know, I think you get the idea. I understand now. I went and fucked up, fucked everything up, because I'm a stupid head. I'm going to stand right here on this black crater. I think that's the best spot. Maybe you have to Shut up! I'm figuring it out myself, especially because I had to retry. You especially don't need to do this. So all I get, I guess all I have to do is make sure I hit this on the ankle. No, no, don't! Get back where you were. Get the fuck back where you... What? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Ah! Use the hologram TV. These. What are you talking about? Use the hologram TV. You're on the wrong puzzle. The retry function making it so that you have to... Shut up! So you have to hear these fuckers again, like Toko. Shut up is annoying. That's why the retry function should work differently. They could have easily made it so you didn't have to hear the annoying fuckers again if you've already heard the explanation. It's really annoying. I mean, it's one thing if you die, which I did, but especially we're trying doing the same thing. That's especially annoying. So hit it at the proper angle. Just keep spamming it until you fall over. You fell the wrong way. Last time you didn't. Does it still work? I guess it still works. So I guess I did it. Now what? What does that solve for me? Wait. So I just did a puzzle section to make plot? Oh, shit. That's one way to get down. Wow, that's amazing. Really? That's your reaction to a huge explosion? I thought it'd be that horrifying. That's what it would have been early in the game. Maybe it shows that she's sort of losing it as well if she thinks that's amazing. I mean, sure, explosions like that are fun in the movies and the ga Vigima games. But in real life, seeing something like that should terrify you. You're awfully excited by all that destruction. Yeah. You're actually a terrifying woman deep down. That's what I said. At least they highlighted it. Toko, look. Look at what? Looks like we can get down now. What? You're gonna use that as a ladder? I mean, if you have no other choice, but that seems like a really bad idea. Wow, that sure was an impressive show. For a virgin. What? Wh what does that have to do with anything? You're a virgin too, fuck off. Especially because you said before that it was it was desirable to be a virgin. So make up your mind. Is it desirable to be a virgin or is it desirable to be a slut? <clears throat> Pick one. Can't be desirable to be both. Anyways, whatever. Let's just quickly save. So I don't have to redo that shit. That shit. Yes. Um. Yeah. 